Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam and then click on exit and then relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try these in launch options. So make a right click on the game, select properties and in the launch option type in dash DX11 and then you can close this and launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time you can just type in dash d3 d11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working then type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you still not working you can remove this empty it follow the next step now the next step is to delete the config folder now when you delete the config folder all saved settings will be lost now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now over here you can see dead but dead by daylight folder open this folder save folder here you can see the config folder so if you want to create a backup you can copy this folder you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup you can delete this folder so make a right click and then you can delete this config folder and then launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you now it's still not working in that case you can rename dead by daylight folder in this location create a backup first so for this same location you can go back so go to this location and then here you can see the dead by daylight copy this folder you can paste it to the desktop so create a backup first once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder make a right click and then click on rename and then you can rename it once you rename this folder now you can launch the game and then check next step is to set tdr delay to 10 now for this you have to open registry editor type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow and then expand hkey local machine so expand this hkey local machine and then go to system current control set so system current control set and then control graphics driver control expand it and then find graphic driver in the list so here you can see graphics driver select graphics driver and on the right hand side if you have find this entry that is tdr delay if you don't see tdr delay you can create tdr delay make a right click new d word 32 bit value and then you can just name it as T capital D R D capital E L A Y TDR delay and then you can make a double click on TDR delay and first of all you can try hexadecimal set this to 10 and then click on OK now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can again make a double click over here and then this time you can put a check on select decimal and then type in number 10 over here and then click on ok now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you, you can restart your computer once and after the system restart uh, you can check so for tdr make sure that you try both hexadecimal uh, like uh, value to one zero click on ok launch the game if that does not work restart your computer after the system restart you can again select de decimal and then again this time type in 10 over here click on ok launch the game and then check still not working restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files so now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to clear steam download cache now for this you can go to steam at the top left click on steam and then go to settings and then go to downloads over here you will see 
clear cache option so click on click on clear cache and then confirm it and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run this file so for this you can go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then open this engine extra engine folder extras folder reddest folder in us and over you can see this make a right click click on run as administrator and click on yes to allow now if you see install button hit an install if it is already installed you will see uninstall option uninstall it then install it once again so click on install now once this is done you can launch the game and then you can check close this launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website uh, you will see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so download this x86 and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well now click on it and run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed and then restart again we restart again must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then you can make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work open this dead by daylight folder binaries folder win64 just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you you have allow the game exe file or the complete game folder to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app click on browser apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select the exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps open this dead by daylight binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse 
select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website and then select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add and then scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game select high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check now desktop user make sure that you connect plug in your monitor uh, you connect your monitor monitor to the dedicated graphic card so make sure that your hdmi cable or maybe display cable it is connected to the dedicated nvidia or amd graphic card sometimes it's connected to the onboard graphic card that is motherboard graphic card that is inbuilt intel it may be intel one so make sure that you connect the the monitor to the dedicated graphic card slot and then check if that does not work you can even roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working you can roll back to the older version so you can go to nvidia website i'm showing for nvidia you can select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page scroll down and then you will see view more option uh, view more version so click on view more version so the latest one right now is uh, 576.80 if this is whichever is the latest if it is not working you can try to install the older version maybe 576.28 for me this one is working fine for me that is 566.36 this one is working fine for me so you can click on view and download it but when you go for installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now make sure that your windows is up to date so you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you're not using disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable steam overlay this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then you can launch the game if you have any other overlay application like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app or geforce experience running you can open nvidia app you can go to settings over here and you can turn off this uh, nvidia overlay turn this off so turn off all the overlay uh, also close all the overlay application so any kind of overlay application running you can close it now if you're using nvidia app in that case you can go to home and if you see the game over here try to launch the game from nvidia app so click on play over here and launch the game you can even go to settings over here 
and over here if you see optimize option you can click on optimize and then you can launch the game if it is already optimized in that case you can revert the optimization so sometimes it's optimized you will see the revert option or maybe restore option so you can restore the optimization and then check you can even close this nvidia app and then you can launch the game also if you have any other over, uh, if you have like first of all do not overclock if you have overclocking bearer set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running uh, you can just close it and then check if you have any kind of third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios install it and then launch the game in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check now if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel